بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to the short daily reminders In few days, inshallah, we will be celebrating Eid What are the sunan of Eid? Inshallah, we will be learning that today But before we do, make dua for all those people who help in making these short daily reminders that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their efforts. And second thing, make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications button, and if you benefited and like this short daily reminder, then don't forget to press the like button below and share it with others. Now, the Sunan of Eid. There are many things. What should we do on the night before Eid, on Eid day, before Eid Salah, and how to perform Eid Salah, what are the Sunan of Eid Salah, and finally, what to do after the Eid Salah. So, inshallah, we will go through them one by one. The first Sunnah and the good deed we should do is, we should try to sight the moon of Shawwal. As you know, Eid al-Fitr, and more famously known, the small Eid, it comes after the month of Ramadan. So when the month of Ramadan ends and the month of Shawwal starts, that is when the Eid al-Fitr takes place. So how do we know that the month of Ramadan has finished? Well, by looking at the moon. This is the first thing we should do on the night before Eid al-Fitr, the small Eid. The second thing is, especially for girls, that the girls should put on henna, mendi, on the night before Eid. The third thing is that everyone should keep themselves busy in the worship of Allah on the night before Eid. Now we will learn the Sunan which we should do before going to Eid Salah. The first one is to take a shower and use miswak. The second Sunnah is to wear one's best clothes, meaning that you look at all of your clothes and the best clothes you have, you should wear them. You shouldn't go out buying new clothes every Eid. Yes, if you already have new clothes, then to wear them on Eid, that's okay. But specifically buying for Eid, we should not be doing that. Also, our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for Eid, he would wear a black imama, a black turban and he would put on a maroon shawl. The third sunnah of the day of Eid is to put on one's best perfume. Again, you look at all your perfume collection and the best perfume you have, you should put that on. The fourth sunnah is that on Eid al-Fitr, the small Eid, one should eat dates, kajur, or any other sweet thing in odd number before going for Eid. But on Eid al-Adha, the big Eid, we should not eat anything before going to perform Eid Salah. Rather, when you come back from praying Eid Salah, you should have something to eat. The fifth sunnah of Eid is that one should give Sadaqatul Fitr. Sadaqatul Fitr is a special charity given to the poor so they can also enjoy their Eid. And how much should you give? Well, every year it changes. So you need to find out from your local Imam Molana that how much Sadaqatul Fitr 
do I have to give this year? The sixth sunnah of the day of Eid is that when going to perform Eid Salah, we should go on one route and when coming back home, we should come back from a different route. This is something which our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do. One of the reasons for doing this was so he can meet all his relatives on the day of Eid. Remember, when going to Eid Salah, we go walking. But when coming back from Eid Salah, we have an option. Do we want to come back walking? That is also the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or do we want to come back in a transport? Well, that is also the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The seventh Sunnah of Eid is that when going to perform Eid Salah, we go out of the city, out of our town into an open land and pray Eid Salah there. This open land is called Eid Gah, a place where the Eid Salah is performed. But if there is no place where you can go and perform Eid Salah in the open, in the Eid Gah, then you should perform Eid Salah in the Masjid. The eighth Sunnah of Eid is that we go to Eid Gah with our family, praying the Takbir. The Takbir is Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allahu, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. These are the Sunnahs of Eid before performing Eid Salah. Now what are the Sunnahs when performing Eid Salah and after performing Eid Salah? For that, inshallah, we will discuss that in part 2 of Sunan of Eid. Till then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.